the omniverse of Dominia, deep within the nexus of all planes of power, the world yeah, yeah, of yeah. Dominaria exudes the greatest manner. Green magic gets its life from the lush fertility of the forest. Its power ranges from soothing serenity to thunderous destruction. <laughs> Black magic's power comes <laughs> Black from the magic. swamps and bombs. <laughs> Yoda or something, what a load of crap. Decay. Oh my god. So bad. White magic draws its vitality from untouched <laughs> open flames and focuses on healing protection and the chivalrous arts of war. Blue magic yeah, look, I played magic the before. And I know blue's the best. Who has to tell me that? I know. Here's my favorite one coming up. <laughs> red magic feeds on the vast energy. I have the red robot. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, I keep it and I love it all at once. Oh, God. Destructive force capable of ripping apart the oh. universe. Genius, absolute genius. Summon that dragon. <laughs> Not the you'll actually be summoning dragons in game, but it's beside the point. So this is an act reenactment of an actual magic duel, I guess. They got this guy dressed in blue, sort of goofy looking guy dressed in green. Blue guy summons, I don't know, zombies out of a hole in the earth. Skates, skeletons, herborg, dong. I don't I just don't care anymore. And then this guy appears, I assume he's Serendip Ifrit, I mean not a geek. <laughs> it looks big and blue, and then <laughs> Whoa! whoa. Ah. He's my favourite <laughs> Oh <laughs> yeah. Yes! <laughs> I can't count the amount of games of magic I've won where I've made a staggering comeback on the back of a giant spider. It's Magic the Gathering Battle Mage, an RTS, utter feces, unrelated to being Battle Mage or Magic the Gathering in any meaningful way. Here's a main menu, a bunch of gold cards, so far at least it's better than Chandelar, right? Uh, the dual screen is looks a bit like this. You select a character, your choices are uh, the Shadow Mage, who I think is black. Then the Woods Girl, Leshrac, selectable character, which seems pretty strong. Or Tevesat, who's who I run with anyway. Um, because there doesn't seem to be a blue mage, I guess. Wizards of the Coast decided blue would be too strong in this game, so they decided to basically eliminate it, despite keeping it in the introduction for some reason. Yeah, I figure Tevesat is the guy most likely to have blue cards in his deck, so I choose him. And then basically the game's, yeah, it's a real-time strategy game that has something loosely to do with Magic Gathering, and sort of seeks to emulate its turn structure rules, but instead of doing that just doesn't. Oh yeah, so the loading screen's Psychic Venom. I think the other one I saw is Green Mana Battery. Once again, not that I'm a geek. <laughs> anyway, so I start with <laughs> this octopus thing, which it turns out is you. It's Tevish that. Uh, and that's it. That's the game. What you see is what you get. I try and play a land on the first turn. Uh, you can only play one land a turn, just like the real thing. And your lands generate mana, which you use to make spells, attack your opponent with mans, etc. But none of that actually comes to pass in this game. In case you can't tell, I've managed to make a land. Not that there seems to be any way of representing this on screen. So now i just got to wait for the next turn. Try and select my magic wand. Try and get my little octopus man to move. <laughs> but you can't. It sort of reminds me a bit of the old game, First Spectrum Chaos. Uh, but a really dong version that thinks it's Magic the Gathering. But surely if I wanted to play Magic the Gathering, I'd play it. Magic the Gathering, I wouldn't be playing on my PlayStation, right? Really? So yeah, I get to make an island on my second turn, not that I've got any way of telling this second turn, but anyway, I've got two lands. I don't know where they are. <laughs> That's kind of beside the point. So yeah, my spells are Feedback, Fear, yeah. Creature Bond, a bunch of irrelevant nonsense, really. Has no impact on the game Come state. On. And uh, yeah, I guess to be fair, this game could be... Oh! Oh snap! <laughs> Grizzly Bear. So I've been rushed down by those grizzly bears. I think I made creature bond on it successfully. Was that my elvish guy? I don't know what's happening here, but I'm trying to get my mans to attack the grizzly bear, but it's not having it. So I think eventually a grizzly, grizzly bear attacks you and dies. So it doesn't actually die. I think the idea yeah. is it's meant to simulate tapping and untapping. Like he's tapped to attack, and once he hits you, 
he untaps, which means he goes all the way back home. So I still haven't destroyed him. It took me freaking hours to figure out that was the tapping and untapping mechanism, but that's beside the point. So yeah, I keep making lands. I'm trying to ramp up to make Abomination. What's he like? A 5 minor 2 4. Seems pretty strong in this game. Could be my finisher. Uh, except I got beat down by Elvish Archers as well. Um, See, so yeah, there's nothing else really to say about Magic the Gathering and Battle Mage. It's probably a better representation of Magic than Magic Online. And it's probably more thematically and conceptually accurate than Jewels of the Planeswalkers. I try to, I'm trying to cast Creature Bond on that goddamn Grizzly Bears. Creature Bond him. <laughs> so his opponent, my opponent can lose life if I ever kill him with my Abomination. Yeah, I don't really have much of a game plan, but to be fair, this isn't much of a game. I mean, it fails in pretty much every possible respect. The graphics are absolutely abhorrent. I mean, there are Game Boy Color games that are better than this, right? The Tevo Stack graphic. I mean, what, <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, yeah, so I finally made Abomination, right? Have I made Abomination? There he is! <laughs> Check it out! Five mana, that's my Abomination, that little pink dude. <laughs> Look at him, he's about the size of a thimble. And I try and get him to fight, but... game's not having any of it. So it's all very well, you can summon monsters, but for the life of me I can't figure out how to control them. Which pretty much sums up this game in a nutshell. I can't figure out how to do anything, despite having the manual at my disposal. And ultimately, Magic the Gathering Battle Mage fails at being a simulation of either Magic the Gathering or being a Battle Mage. So, um... That pretty much sums up today's farce. Thanks for watching.